two of them down there. one over here too. Oh, today is April 30th. It's about 48 degrees. I had a big tom stand on this gas line yesterday afternoon. Just going back and forth, back and forth. And uh, left, went home, come back last night, roosted him. Somewhere between last night and now, he flew across the hollow and he's over on the other ridge. <clears throat> we'll sit here and uh, hope he comes back up here to the strut soon by uh, noon and try to get a shot. There's a lot of birds around here. We've got three. That I know of just down on that hollow. So I'll sit here and play it by ear and hopefully, like I said, something comes up here and we can take a shot by noon and get out of here. So stay tuned. We'll see how this morning plays out.
it's been about a half an hour since I heard that bird. And they're hung up across the road down here at the bottom of the ridge. I think I'm going to have to make a move on them. Really don't want to have to pack up and take off and get around that other side, but uh, they don't seem to want to come over on this hill today. So here and give it another 15 20 minutes. If I don't hear anything on this side, I'm gonna have to pack up and take off. It's been about half an hour since I heard that bird. And, uh, they're hung up on a ridge across the road. And we'll see more come over here today. I don't know if somebody came in here last night after I left and run them off or what, but uh, they're staying down on the other side. If I don't have anything come in here in the next 25, 30 minutes, and we'll pack up, beeline over that other ridge and get back up on the other gas line across the road. Squirrels coming this way. Let's see how it goes, but I'm not having too much faith in this morning. I think the temperature's actually dropped since I got here. So you're freezing to death. Let's see how it plays out. Well, it's uh, April 30th here in Ohio. Um, We'll set up over here on the ridge behind me this morning at daylight. The birds is all gobbling, but they were probably a half a mile to this side of the road. And I'm going to try to make a move and get up in here on them. They're back, they sound like they were going toward uh, the back of this hollow right here. So I'm going to slide up in here and uh, throw a few yelps, see if I can get a response, and then get set up as quick as I can and try to take one out of here before noon. So stay tuned. We'll see how this plays out. I gotta be quick and I gotta be quiet. I got about three hours left to hunt. So, let's see how it works.
Well, it's 1028. I've been on this bird since before daylight. He had 13 hens with him. When they come across the road, they all split up. He had uh, this one ridge all to himself. I heard a couple hens, but they was going away from him. And then there was another tom out off to my left, about 200 yards from here. They were gobbling back and forth. And then it was just a race to see who was going to get to me first. As you can see, Bird's got some nice spurs on him, about three quarter inch long. About two year old bird, nice full fan. And probably a nine inch beard on him. A heavy bird, he's about 19, 20 pounds. So. That makes me tagged out for Ohio, so from now until end of season, I'm gonna be taking my dad out, try to get him a bird. Killed him first bird last Monday. Following Monday, tag out. So that's not a bad season. So for all of us here at Deep Timber Assassins, good luck this season. Hunt hard. Keep following us on Facebook, YouTube, and on Gen 7 Outdoors.